Make Art Stop AIDS here in Malawi is trying to change that negative perception of people living with HIV and AIDS. The perception of sadness, of doom, of, of hopelessness, it's trying to change that, to bring about a perception of hope, of happiness, of, 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 of life after HIV and AIDS. Make Out Stop AIDS brought together drama students from Chancellor College uh, and people living with HIV AIDS. Each group had its questions. For example, the community people, the people living with HIV and AIDS, when they came here, they had questions such as how are they going to treat us? How are we going to interact with them? They are probably English speakers and, how, and we don't know how to speak English. So how is it going to be? How can we work? together. And also our students too here, they had their fears as well. These are people living with HIV and AIDS and they know it. Is it going to be okay? Isn't it going to be too much tension or things like that? They had their own questions as well. First of all, did icebreakers and trust exercises and lots of group work to create that open atmosphere and that connection between all the members of the group. I've never been this close with people living with AIDS in my life. So it's like the first time and now I'm learning to know that they're just like any other human being. They can do anything that anybody else can do. Mm. Sindugona <laughs> Through engaging with the social, economic, and cultural issues, and sharing personal stories, and doing research, we created a performance. Each person will choose three themes that he feels are the most important, the most interesting, the most relevant for this community. I really feel the community is going to accept our story that it's going to be something they can relate to because the story is coming from personal stories that we shared in the class. But at the same time, we went to do research. So those are the stories that we, f we found out. They're the issues that are really there in the community. So when they see the story, the play, they're going to be able to identify with it and relate with whatever is happening in the play. Even here, the community that we live in here at Chancellor College is a community that if they had to know that one is positive, a student probably it would be hell for that person. So most students would opt not to go for testing. It's the same thing in the communities, the, the, the fear of the reaction of the community that they live in. So the fear that people have, it's everywhere. I think everyone has that fear. And I also had that fear, because before I came into this class, I was not ready to get tested as well. I was really afraid that what if I do, I'm positive. What if I find myself positive? What will my friends say and what will I do? So I really pictured myself with those guys. <laughs> After a few weeks of intensive work and rehearsals and coming up with a play from the issues of the community and the students, 
We are finally ready now to move into the village. Yeah! The director and I discussed it. And we decided it would be a good idea to let the students live there, to give them that experience of actually living with the communities that they're working with, so that they may understand the intervention and carry it out much better. I'm so excited. This is the moment we have been waiting for. So I'm so happy. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I grew up in, in Lilongwe, it's a city, but of course I used to go to the village. I, also, I go to the village like occasionally, but you know, it's different because the villages that I go to is where family is. But this is a whole different cultural setting and you don't know anybody. My imagination of my first day in the community, there's going to be a lot of excitement, excitement and fear because we've as a class, we've really never been together, sleeping in the same room like for 10 days. My fear mostly is that maybe those people might not be free enough to us because they might think that we're from town, from the urban areas and they're from the rural areas and they might not be free to share their stories. But I think it's going to be very exciting because I haven't worked in such an environment before. I think Makwapala is very unique. So I think it's going to be very exciting.
theater allows you to engage people and to really go deep about relationships, about the fear of getting tested, all the issues that really determine how people are going to behave and whether they're going to change their behavior or not. The thing I love the most about the play is later on in the play, we're going to change into a forum. It's going to transition into a forum where people in the community will be able to say, OK, let's correct such, such a sin. I think we should do this and that. It also gives them, the people in the village, a chance to solve their own problems. I feel that the Malawian way of life is changing because its culture is dynamic and because it's dynamic over, over the years and over time it has to change. So it's really changing from, um, from that way where people used to be so secretive about everything to now where people are able to open up and, and talk about such issues. I think issues, for example, like sexuality, those were issues that were not openly discussed in Malawian societies. If as my Timakala and Poti Dima Tengega, Duga is Esa, Comazi Bambo. Sisma Kusa when you go in. There, but when a Java is in a Dipasa Kidu in there as Bambo, my Tinali de Mozi, Dipa Mayanka Moma Suka, O Casa Mazu, Nera Oka. Did I joke of Menacuja, Dinagambia, and there as my winner four, Capena five feet. It was not a Sangalasa one beady, Tina Punzi Sanapo Soji Pitina, Jody Tizigama Sukirana, Dinagamba now Bamba Ganyole, Uti T and Nafeso to guys as it is in the Kira, Uti Godimo, what to do some of their wench. Nafeso to Zio put it in the party. Yeah, I don't want to let the sober no guys. Musare, quite HIV and AIDS in Malawi is a very complicated issue. It's not as clear cut or as direct as probably some people would like it to be. So in order to make an intervention, you really have to consider the economic background and you have to consider the cultural issues of the community as well. Because once those people whom you are trying to help have the idea that you are there to defeat their culture, believe me, whatever you do, it's not going to work. They have to trust that you are really there to help them. Because nowadays HIV and AIDS, it's become it's become a monopoly of some kind. It's become something else. It's, and the people know it. So it's, it's really something that you have to develop a relationship with those people that you're going to work with. That is why we decided that the students and this massive team plus the PLs are going to live 
in the communities, together with the people. Yeah. So. Too, but we gotta stop a little bit. Okay. okay. Thank you. Back a little back. Okay. All right. The girls are laughing at us because we couldn't carry it all the way. But it's okay. The little girls, yeah, they do it often. For us, like for me, I only get to do it maybe once a year when I go to the village in December. So, no wonder I guess I couldn't carry it all the way. But it's, it's okay. It's not like I do it every day. So, it's just fine. You know, it's different from uh, learning and uh, experience. We know that HIV will not spare anyone, directly or indirectly. Indirect. It will not spare anybody. At one point, it will be touched either my brother or me. So what if people stigmatize against, they, they discriminate against me? How would I feel if I were in the position, in the shoes of that person who is HIV positive? My perspective is changing. Of course it was changed, it changed, but now I think it's deeper. Um, uh, this is real. Eh? It's like we are working with these people, real. We are sitting together, we are chatting. It's normal for us, and we don't uh, consider them to be sick. They are our friends, our fellow friends. The project was actually in two phases. The first phase was to create the performance and then take it to the community. After the performance, we were to have workshops with community groups. So as we were going to make arrangements with the chiefs, and to introduce ourselves and to introduce the project, we also had to have meetings and find these groups that are going to take part in the workshops. It's a long time ago since HIV AIDS was found, but up to now, people are still stigmatized. So I think with this, the, the, with the workshop, um, I think more people can open up. And if uh, they can have a chance of interacting with people who are HIV positive, I think they can change their perspective. <laughs> We want to help people understand things better, to understand that being found infected is not necessarily the end of the world, and also to come against discrimination, to find ways and means of coming against discrimination, and telling those people who discriminate against those with HIV to at least appreciate them in a different way, see things in a different way, not necessarily the disease, but the human person, the being themselves are not the disease. In the shy watch, the Makara, what a bear, what go for. In the Mutumos, what he did not do up or commandize the Sam, Napes the Candy Cachurum by Chai V. Paminandi in a panon, the Mamma Mamma, Maravi, 
oti chaka chino ndicha folo ndi magwira nchito kuposa anthu amena amazi chakuti abwino pano pandili bwino nditu simado lachira chiri chosolo malungu mwa tikupuza ne azanga no se kuti mukaye zese muzakale ngati ino ine ndi ndiki ne wanthu Kenaka kya bambojang kuzovomereza andi kweni kweni sokwambiri ku mapeto kweni kwa akuza anthu ambiri ndi kumene anthu ena mapeto ka umboni kuti ineyo ndi nali mwakuti mwakuti commentaries samone mene ndi ndirimu ndi napezeka nako ifu anthu ulu uni napezeka nako pa gloma kawo chepa so anthu ambiri anachita interested kuambiri pona kuti a akuti awana pezeka nako ndi akunena super gulunga tipana ndi akunena kuti aswero ngati amene ajao ata dazitika chitika kwa thukuno ah i think mina kunga sinthe kwa thukuno This project has taught me a lot. I think no, it's really shown me the, the true spirit of a great team. Mm -hmm. All these guys have been great. When we went to the village, I tend to interact more with these people. I've never been open like this in my life. Mm -hmm. I think I've also seen that each of us has, uh, can make a difference in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't, it doesn't, sometimes you think like, okay, for me to make a difference, maybe I have to maybe give a lot of money, let's say for example, to the people like at the village. But then just our being with them at the village and maybe conducting the workshops and staying with them, I, I felt like I had contributed something, as in I, at other side, I had touched the life. The start to the end, from the discussions, from the uh, rehearsals, from, it's like everything was collaborative. That's one thing I've learned, that together we can do something which is worth, um, worth showing, and it was. So it's like, uh, it's ours, we own it together. Wow. I'm going to place your first images that you did on the very first day of the course in the middle. And then the images that you did now are here. Go around and look at the difference between the first images and the, and the new images, OK? First drawing at that job right now. I hope that this experience will help shape their careers and their lives in a way that they will always experience the kind of empathy that they experienced here. And this will guide them as they choose their careers, as they develop their careers, as they work in their jobs. In the end of the day, they are the future leaders. I think we can say that whatever change we brought to that community, I think we, we also changed our own perception. Mm. Yeah. It's quite clear from here. Samarilamoyo, 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 Samarilamoyo,